From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Russian nuclear group Rosatom is one of the companies competing for South Africa's planned new nuclear power plant program. Keith Campbell reports. Rosatom oversees Vice President Ivo Kuklik explains what his company is offering South Africa in terms of both technology and business opportunities. Uh, Rosatom is offering a fully integrated uh, solution for South Africa. It means construction of new nuclear units, uh, localization of uh, the production of equipment, financing, and uh, also transfer of know-how and training of the personnel, and assistance in uh, uh, regulatory environment and uh, public acceptance. For the construction of nuclear power plant, Rosatom <coughs> got uh, Long-term experience, uh, uh, Rosatom constructed 67 VVR nuclear units and nowadays uh, 28 units are under construction. It means uh, in the stage between the contract signature and connection uh, to, to the grid. Uh, Rosatom offers uh, VVR 2006 project, it's uh, generation 3 plus and uh, this design uh, combines uh, safety, passive safety and active safety features. Regarding uh, the localization program, uh, we <coughs> assume that uh, minimum 30% of equipment uh, can be produced uh, here in South Africa. And uh, if uh, we uh, will uh, build uh, up to 80 units, we can increase uh, the percentage of uh, supply up to 60 percent. Uh, it can help uh, create uh, jobs here. Uh, approximately uh, we evaluate uh, maximum 15,000 15, jobs in the peak of construction uh, for construction workers and also for the industrial companies. Regarding the financing, uh, offer. It depends on the needs of customer and South African uh, government. We are very flexible in uh, this area. Also for us it's important to assist the country to train the people, to educate people and transfer uh, know-how uh, for uh, the production of, of uh, the equipment. Other news making headlines this week, IFC and MasterCard team up to improve financial services in Africa. Amplatz tests a fuel cell powered locomotive at its Rustenburg mine and a new corporate responsibility centre aims to boost development. The International Finance Corporation and the MasterCard Foundation have launched a $37.4 million partnership to improve access to financial services for economically disadvantaged people in sub-Saharan Africa. This partnership is all about scale. It's scale which at the end of the day is going to have a profound impact on ordinary citizens who are going about doing their daily business. And it's about ensuring something as basic as a loan, a savings account for a child's education, insurance for a farmer for his crops or her crops, uh, will have will enable millions of people to actually participate and participate and not only do that but also to contribute to the economic dynamism that we're seeing across the continent. Anglo-American Platinum has launched the first of five fuel cell powered locomotive prototypes to be tested at its mining operations in South Africa. The first locomotive will be surface tested over the next few months at the company's Komanani mine in Rustenburg to establish the viability of commercialization. This is a great day for South Africa. It marks the next step in the development of a new industry. What we believe will, which we believe will establish the country as a leader in the evolution of fuel cell technology. In the process, it will create thousands of sustainable, clean technology jobs. This prototype will be monitored and enhanced before four more locos are produced and piloted on a platinum mine to determine the full scale viability. 
South African Department of Trade and Industry Chief Director Jocelyn Vass says the Competence Centre for Corporate Social Responsibility is well placed to make a systemic difference as it was set up to ensure that German companies in South Africa develop a comprehensive and holistic strategy on how CSR is implemented and where they can pool resources, experience and expertise to make a real and sustainable change in the country. Corporate social responsibility is extremely important for sustainable enterprises um, and corporates are generally very good economic citizens but the economic efforts that they engage in must also have a social impact and a, and a long-term sustainable and systemic impact. In the area of manufacturing we're really struggling to ensure that more black people get involved in manufacturers, that we develop black industrialists. So we see that through the expertise that the Germans have developed in South Africa in the manufacturing sector, how can we use that in order to begin to build a new cadre of uh, black industrialists, people who are involved in the industrial sector, in the production sector, in the real economy. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.